Hello, everyone. Uh, back in singles. Uh, this is fun. This is kind of like my break league from, you know, playing in fandom and, you know, and running geek and all that. Uh, and my opponent today is a man who, for two years, I have pretty much been at the mercy of. Literally every call, match call I'm in, he's there. He's like this little tumor latched to the side of me every time I am playing a match. Whether it's it's it's, it's Gene or just leering, he's ready to jump at and just you know, shoot barbs at me, whatever. But now, today, I get to take him on one on one in home. Awesome. Yeah, what's up? Wait, no, that was that's not what <sighs> Sing singles. Come. On. Gotta read the fine her from now on. Thanks, asshole. Okay, Cody, maybe I was a little bit hasty uh in the when what I just said. Um really excited to play and uh let's Let's just hope this doesn't badly like last time. So, first time, we'll say this. I was called Little. Thank you, Scully. That's a confidence boost I always needed. Uh, Scully, you're the one player in the Kingsman that doesn't belong in the Kingsman. Like, you look like that you could like play a sport. The rest of them look like if they start to sweat, they probably break out in hives. Um. Listen, that, sorry, next season, this will be the only place I can play, so maybe I want to win. Maybe I want to get Scully to win. I don't really care, personally. Um, but this is general movies with some deep cuts, and I'm playing a Scully that has to, like, do deep cuts studying from time to time, and me, I just watch movies, so this should be interesting. Um, but I will protest every geek question that comes up because you did not do your due diligence to make this match even. So um, just let that be known, and good luck. Let's play. What is up, assholes? Welcome back to another match in Opening Night Trivia. Uh, got a matchup. Scully scares me. Cody scares me. Pretty simple. I'm solo today, so I'll probably try to be quiet for the most part, because I'm not funny. Introducing first, the record of one win and zero defeat. It is uh, the New Hope, a New Hope. I fucking forget. Cody Newberry. I don't really have a nickname to be honest with you. You had one and you stopped playing in singles. <laughs> Fair. Uh, and his opponent, the record of one win and one defeat. Uh, the person who used to hold the hold, used to hold the uh, singles points record until good players got in. Uh, Thomas Scully. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much what happened? That's rough. That's right. Here's how round one works. That's one record I once I once held. Ten questions. Whiteboard style. Twenty seconds after I ask it, you get it right, you get a point. You get it all correct. I might get another point. Who knows? Uh press the match, you have three repeats and a challenge. Cody, you ready? Sure. One challenge, but you get multiple if you win, so let's go. Please don't win. I'm tired. <laughs> Scully, you ready? We're going to break the challenge record tonight, Cody. Let's go. <laughs> after, you, after your last match, I'm going to try to be nice. <laughs> your first question comes in the category of the 2000s. Carrie Russell stars in what 2000s film where she works the titular job? My favorite words. Film. Big fan of them. Solo hosting sucks. I don't know why people like choose to do it. They just you get burdened with it. You have to have that inner voice in yourself right. in order to be able to, to do it. I don't got one. one. Cody. Is there a movie called Waitress? And Scully. It is Waitress. It's a great part of musical. Both are correct. Oh, nice. That's how I know it because Cameron Holzman will never shut the fuck up. <laughs> Next question comes in biopics. 2019's Bombshell is set at what TV network? This is a movie that I, I have not say, seen. Of a person who read this question, <laughs> Spence is not the one that wrote. It's a question. Uh, in category biopics. And that's all that I'll say because I got yelled at last time. I was repeating too much information from a question. Cameron Holtzman. 
It's going to be a pretty lax night for you today. So. Yay. Scully. It's Fox. And Cody. What about Fox News? Both are correct. I mean, it's 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 the Fox is the parent company. And he's like that. I'm not challenging. You're fine. Yeah, I'm not going to not gonna do that. Uh, directors. Kind of a directors. Paul Haggis directed which Best Picture winner? I'm not here to, like, be finicky about answers to questions. I could reference something else, but I'll get yelled at by whatever I reference, so I'm going to be here and be Switzerland. You're, you're, you're more worried about being yelled at not on this call. Right. And I feel like I'm that's also, I also prefer when people, when they rib, have good internet. <laughs> two, one. Cody? I'm in between two, but I put Crash. And Scully. I also put Crash. Both correct. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a million dollar movie to me for a second. Mm-hmm. But that was Eastwood, so we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Next question boy. comes in. Uh, action Adventure. What is Dead Presidents the name for in Dead Presidents? It's a nice uh, titular question without the word titular because there's only so many times you can say it before it just sounds weird, like most words. This is also a movie that I also have not seen. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Scully? I said Secret Society of Presidents. And Cody. That's a really good guess. I just actually didn't think of anything. Uh, both incorrect. It's their name for money. It's the old money in that film. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. But Ben Franklin's not a president, so challenge. Go ahead. <laughs> you want to challenge? No. Ne- neither was Hamilton, but... <laughs> Next we'll question. 2010s. Who stars as Mark Hogenkamp in Welcome to Marwin? Hamilton, an amazing movie that we can all agree is 100% a film. I stand by. I'm waiting for the fan zone question of is Hamilton a movie, and people just go at it. Remember when we had a whole like like uh, like survey up to ask? I was one of like 13 people. people I think said yes on that poll. Imagine working for that same trivia league behind the scenes during that whole debate. It was fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody. Steve Carell? And Scully. Steve Carell. Both correct. Next question comes in musicals. In which musical does Barbra Streisand play a woman who needs to dress as a man to gain an education? Back to questions that I obviously wrote. Uh, You know who I miss? Fan League reports. Don't like the name. But I missed the presence of being able to catch me up on on matches that I didn't watch. Remember so, when he absolutely like spit roasted you? At, that at too. I want more. That was funny. It's Five. one or the other. I don't think it's that one. Three, two, one. Cody makes no sense by the title, but this is the only one I could think of. Funny girl and Scully. That was one. I said the other. Yentl. Yentl is correct. That's really. the one I own. Yeah, there. It was either that one or Funny Girl. In 80s. 1980s, to be specific. In Risky Business, what kind of business does Joel set up to raise money to fix a car? In testing with uh, one Caleb Boatman, he's like, I haven't seen this, but I can guess one thing about this movie. And I'm like, same. Because... This is a movie that people would think I have seen, but I've actually not seen it. I think this is the name of it, and I don't know. I feel like if you didn't, like, see it in theaters or, like, on TV at, like, 2 a.m., you would have never seen it. This is definitely on the IFC channel sometimes. This might be close to the Nazi comment that Spence made, like, answer, if I'm wrong, and totally blame for it. Out of context, different channel. Cody. Brothel? Scully. I think it is a brothel. It is a brothel. Okay. No, then your answer still sucks. But his guess was right. <laughs> Fuck you. Sports. Nazi was not. Sports. Which position did Morris used to play in 1976's The Bad News Bears? 
Oh. Uh, I will just say, because I came up with testing, uh, fun fact, the remake, just called Bad News Bears. No, the. It evil deaded itself, and I have a challenge in my back pocket, so Caleb Boatman, watch your ass. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to just one out of point in war zone. That man let you stay in his basement. You will be I think you. Right? I think you would have a stance, too. I, do, I would. Five, four, three, two, one. Scully? Between two, I said pitcher. And Cody. Pitcher. Both correct. Catcher was the other one, Billy? Catcher was the other one. <laughs> right no there. Okay. About any position except for those two. Your penultimate question coming in the category of crime. In which part of his body is Frank shot at the beginning of Serpico? Ooh, this is a pretty good film. I watched because of Kirk Kolakowski, who you would know from a lot of leagues, but he played here for a while. Good movie. Not the best, but good. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody? Leg. And Scully. I also said leg. Both incorrect. Looking for the face. Got shot in the face. Ah, well, yeah. Normally the movie shouldn't continue when that happens. I forgot about that. <laughs> you think? And your last question comes the category of war. Ice Cube, Mark Wahlberg, and George Clooney star in what war film? Oh, God, I don't know if this is it. Cody's happy. Comic book movies do not come up in the randomizer today. So, nice and I am nice. very happy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, your bonus question. Uh, in Dread, and also Judge Dread, because it's the same movie. Name the name the city they live in. Oh, oh fuck seven. you. Four, three, you don't need that two. again. I'll tell you cover it. Scully. Three Kings. And Cody. Three Kings. Both correct. There we go. With that, out of round one, Scully's in the lead, eight to seven. Round two. What year is it? Deep cut round. You receive five questions in two films. The both competitors chose before the match started. A quick answer for their outcome was worth one. A quick answer for their opponents is worth two. Scully, since you're in the lead, would you like questions from your film first or second? Let's do my film second. Okay. So we'll, we'll be starting with Cody's movie, which is Gladiator. Editors, Gladiator. All right. How first many question. I need to make up for him. Okay, that's right. First question Gladiator. What does Lucilla plan to do after Commodus is named Emperor? This pretty good movie. Uh, not quite in my top 10 best picture winners, but like it's relatively close. Now Chicago, that's a great movie. Five. This is why you four, should have co Three, two, one. No. Cody. Move away. I'm not sure. And Scully. Wait, she says take a bath? Take a bath is correct. That's right. That's on the board. So it's two points for him, right? Just to make sure I'm right on the board. Yes. Yeah. Your next question. When Maximus escapes his execution, why does one of the soldier's swords not come out? Normally when you execute someone, you try to do it right. It shouldn't be that hard if you think about it, but apparently murder, difficult. I should have gotten Boatman to co-host today. I would ask him about 1963 and why it was apparently pretty easy. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody, or Scully? Said Frost makes his blade stuck in, in, in the holder. I don't know what the holder is called. Cody. I put sticks in the sleeve, cold weather. Both correct. Looking for the word sheath. Sheath, that's what it's called. Your third question. The fourth day of Antioch marks which day of the gladiatorial games? So the last question I had to write it because I, I forgot the moment entirely. And I'm watching it and just Can I get a repeat? A Sorry. Uh, uh, first the fourth day of Antioch marks which day of the gladiatorial games? Oh, I yeah. think that. I, I, I can remember them saying. 
Russell Crowe's delivery of the frost makes the blade stay. Ten out of ten. So good. like one of the better the moments. Of every line is ten out of ten. And then that yeah. cut. Four, three, yeah, the two, cells, awesome. one. Cody. Only day I can remember them saying the sixty fourth day. It's golly. Sixty four. All correct. Yes. Where are the soldiers Maximus formerly commanded located, waiting for his return after they hear word of his survival? That's a good question. Um, Talking about movies is hard. Uh, Nice weather we're having. It's been pretty cold recently, which I like. It's it's like 50 and rainy here. Three, two, not right at all. It's going. I believe it's Ostia. Cody. (laughs) Ostia is correct. Definitely didn't know that one. And your last question in Gladiator. Who does Commodus first ask for a sword after Maximus disarms him in their duel? (sighs) It's also a great moment. Uh, Commodus, absolute bitch. One of the best villains of the decade, but oh, yeah. fuck that. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Maybe his best oh. performance ever. Nothing else comes close. Absolutely nothing. No no other movies. I mean, to be honest, he's it's he's it's number one for me. Hell yeah. Four, three, two, one. Cody? You can't tell me I'm wrong, but you will tell me I'm wrong. His little bitch secondhand man. I don't know. <laughs> you don't say that in the film, so let's go. I think it's Quintus. Quintus is correct. That's right. Uh, with that, Scully doing a clean sweep of Gladiator. Cody picking up two questions there of his film. And you go to Scully's film of The Departed. Put in the, film, put in the document as Departed, because I'm stupid. Your first question. At what apartment number was Billy's first raid at? Oh my god. Oh, not this again. It's fucking Shazam all over again. Uh, mm. Ouch. Um, things not said in film on walls. Love it so much. Um, Five, don't, this don't is the pizza boxes all over again. Two, one. Scully? I just said 344. And Cody? 413. From number two. Number two. Right, next question. Frank says he hasn't needed money since ta- since taking whose lunch money in the third grade. <sighs> Gladiator departed not on the same level. This is so far. Um, oh boy. Hmm. This is also a pretty good Best Picture winner. Better than Gladiator, in my opinion. I didn't always think that. I go Five. gladiator, but it's like it's a race. Three, race. Two, one. Cody? Jimmy. And Scully. Johnny. Looking for Archie. Whatever. What specifically did Billy plead guilty to in court to get sent to jail? When I was in court. I pled guilty to a lot of things. You viewers, put in the comments what you think I pled guilty to, and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Actually, will, but it'll be funny. Four, three, two, one. Scully? Is it aggravated assault? And Cody? Assault and battery. That might be. That is correct. Uh, two points. There we go. Your fourth question in the departed. What comic book did Frank give to Colin when he was a kid? There we go. Talent. Of course it's a comic book. Um. <laughs> it found its way in here somehow. Gosh. I can did I not challenge put that in there, if he gives just... him multiple comic books? If you can, if you want, but after the countdown of five. I don't think four, he does, Cody. Three, so. He gives him two. two. What? Uh, Scott, Cody. Specifically, the one we see is Wolverine. 
Cody. I put Superman. Wolverine is correct. And your last question in The Departed. What did Frank's father call him when he was younger? When I was young, my father called me annoying, which is true to this day. Five, four, three, two, one. Cody? Tumor? And Scully. I'm going to just call... I, I, this, this is what uh, French calls them by the film, so I'm just going to go with Francis. A tumor is correct. Oh, wow. With that, 13, 19, going into round three. Round three, IMDb round. You receive uh, three questions at a variety of point values where we will ask you to guess the film. For two points, we give you the year of release, uh, lead actor and genre of the film. For three points, we give you the year of release, director and plot keywords. And for five big points, we give you the year of release and you pick two between director, actor, supporting actor, genre, and plot keywords. Scully, since you are in the lead, would like questions from set number one or set number two? Let's go set one. All right. Uh, uh. All right, Cody, your questions in set number two. Two points. Your year is 2004. Your lead actor is Tom Cruise. And your genres are crime, thriller, and drama. Collateral? That is correct for two points. 15 now. Going to your three point question. Your year is 2016. Your director is Robert Eggers. And your plot keywords are 1600s, goats, and black magic. The Witch? That is correct for three points. Oh. Now up to 18. So we need to hit this five-pointer, throw it back to Scully. I'm so excited. Go ahead. Your year is 1986. What would you like between director, actor, supporting actor, genre, and plot keywords? I'm going to need actor, and I'm going to need plot keywords. All right. Once again, your year is 1986. Your actor is Kathleen Turner, and your plot keywords are divorce, high school, and alternate timeline. Five. Uh, repeat. Three. All right, your second repeat. So again, your year is 1986. Your lead actor is Kathleen Turner, and your plot keywords are divorce, high school, and alternate timeline. Good job, Scully. I'm not 100%. I have no idea what this is. I don't even know who this actor is. This is the four. Well, I'm going to take one more repeat to waste your time. Right. Your last repeat. Your year is 1986. Your lead actor is Kathleen Turner. And your plot keywords are divorce, high school, and alternate timeline. I know it's not right, but it's only one. Some kind of wonderful. Fine. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, Thomas Scully. You're looking for Peggy <sighs> Sue got married. Oh, I'm definitely okay with Oh, did she not? Yes, she did. Uh, with okay. that, we'll jump into the post-match interviews, starting with Cody. Cody, how you feeling? Eh, I'm okay. Um... I think maybe I'll watch, I'll go back and watch that scene from the part that I think I could have challenged. Um, but overall, it was a fun match. Uh, Scully's just really good at deep cuts, and like he knew he knew character names and stuff like that. And the movie that I'm really good at, I just 
don't pay attention to things that I don't they don't say out loud, and that's that's fair with deep cuts. It just don't click in my brain ever for me. Um, but no, this is a lot of fun. I'm one and one, so I'm not in the negative column. I'm 500, so I'll be back for another match maybe sometime. But yeah, good job. Uh, still. Anyone, anyone who you want to play in your next match? Um, probably anybody equal record. I don't know much about it, but I'll take on anybody. All right, pretty cool. Uh, we'll see you. At, well, see you in your team's match actually relatively soon. But in singles, we'll see you next season. See you then. See ya. And talk to you about today's winner, uh, Scully. Scully got a win, got a TKO. Played pretty good throughout the match. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. This is fun. Um, I mean, like, like I said, I've never ever played Cody one on one, so it's kind of fun to be actually playing him instead of, you know being managed against uh for once uh so that's fun um yeah you know the gladiator i mean it's, it's one of my, i mean both movies are are my favorites uh the departed ones definitely got me uh a little twisted in my head um the gladiator you know i love that movie uh with all my heart so um yeah this was fun you know that five pointer i mean how that three pointer i don't, I don't think i would have gotten right either so uh, props to Cody for pulling that three and that five. I mean, Peggy Sue Gummery, is, is, is that even a movie? I mean, that that just sounds like a card you get from, like, a, a high school friend that you forgot you had. Uh, you're two and one. I have a vague idea of who you might be playing uh, next season in your next match. Is there who you would want to play, though, next time? I mean, I mean, I like, like, you know, like everyone says, I like a, anyone worth around this, with the, uh, about the same record. Um, but I think, you know, being in this league, being two and one, it gives me, it's an opportunity to play people I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, you know, dream of playing in a regular singles league where deep cuts aren't a thing, because I do think the deep cuts offer me a little bit more of an advantage than it does most players. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, if, if there's like a higher tiered regular movies competitor out there, I would like to test my, you know, singles knowledge against them, because here's the thing. I don't like depend on, on this. This league, singles in general, isn't the lifeblood of what I do for trivia. Phantom and Geek is, is 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 where I reign. That's my territory. I just come in here to have fun, and you know, see how see how much regular movie knowledge I know, um, and see how I am stacked up against everybody else. Um, and it's just fun. So whoever you got for me, I'll I'll, I'll gladly take them. If there's somebody. That, that maybe I know pretty well that, that that's pretty good at singles. Uh, I would strongly urge you to to put us together because uh, I think that that would be fun. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you around here pretty often, but we'll see you competing next season. Yeah. All right. All right. That is a wrap for today's uh, Altul singles match. Pretty short. Pretty sweet. I'll also be pretty short. So thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you later this week or next week. I don't know. But for Open Night Trivia, stay inside, stay safe, wash your hands, wash your face, support the teachers, get the fucking vaccine. And we'll catch you next week or later this week. I don't fucking know for some more trivia. Catch you on the flip side.